The quotient rule for exponents only applies to exponents that have the same base value, and it is a raised to the m divided by a raised to the n equals a raised to the m minus n. So for division, we subtract the exponents. For instance, a raised to the 4 divided by a raised to the 2. Using the quotient rule, we subtract the exponent in the bottom from the exponent on top. So 4 minus 2 is 2. And we have a final answer of a raised to the 2. If we write this out, we have a times a times a times a for a raised to the 4 on top and a times a for a raised to the 2 on the bottom. We can cancel two of these out and we're left with a raised to the 2 as the answer. Same as before. As another example, if we had x raised to the 7 times y raised to the 5 divided by x raised to the 4 times y raised to the 3, we can still apply the rule to the exponents with the same base values. To make it clear, we can section off the x's and the y's to get x to the 7 over x to the 4 times y to the 5 over y to the 3, which gives us an answer of x raised to the 3 times y squared. One last example. If we had x to the 4 divided by x to the 9, we have x raised to the 4 minus 9, which equals x raised to the negative 5. And for a base with a negative exponent, we can make it a fraction with 1 as the numerator and the base with a positive value of the exponent in the denominator. So this equals 1 over x to the 5. To prove this, if we write this out from our original equation, we have 4 x's in the numerator and 9 x's in the denominator. We can cancel out 4 of these x's and we're left with 1 over 5 x's or 1 over x raised to the 5. All right, my friends, hopefully you got something out of this video. I do have sh sh more videos right there for you. Till next time, I am out of here.